Hi, I wanted to share you my thoughts on what's happening. Let's start with Suk Cheon talking about how to get famous in Korea by faking a relationship. The guest asked him how to get famous in Korea. Then he said that she have to get into scandal. And whenever people get bored she have to create another scandal. He said she can get in a fake relationship. He told her to plan it with one of the male singers from her agency. He knows that the agencies are doing this. Idols pretending they're dating is a usual thing in K-pop industry. He joked and told her to even ask her manager to take pictures from distance. He pointed that she have to make a whole story to make people believe it. He has been in the industry since 1994, he literally knows what he's talking about. Now some people may wonder how BTS and BLACKPINK are in the same agency? Actually HYBE started working with YG since 2021 and YG now is a part of HYBE. Both agencies said that they will grow together through various collaborations and please focus on this line. Since then we've seen more interactions between both groups. Shurhyuk, the CEO of HYBE kept mentioning BLACKPINK in his recent interviews. He even put their name on his cover of Billboard magazine. The journalist who apparently took the video of Tay and Jenny said that when he saw them the security told him to take picture from afar. That's so funny to me because the security should be there to protect them not to harm them. They should have told him to go away or to not take pictures or to delete them if he took any. What we can understand from this act that the security, Tay and Jenny and even the company wanted the paparazzi to film them, they were walking in public like they really wanted to be filmed. Tay was standing there like he was waiting for the journalist to film him and then he left. You may think that Tay is brave and wants to break company rules by showing his girlfriend to the world but that's not true. He can't take any step by himself he signed a contract and should respect it. The agency's respond to the rumors was the same as last year. They can't confirm it because their relationship is fake, but they can't deny it too because they're the ones who create all of this to get attention. You may ask, why they're using them since last year they started to use them whenever they have an important schedule or comeback. Creating the buzz without denying or confirming their relationship actually benefits them. It doesn't matter if they're receiving love or hate since people are still talking about them anyway. I know the cosplay admitted he's the one in the video, but I have mixed feelings about this. But I believe it was him and his friend from Jeju Pictures, Gurumi used their pictures and edited them. I just wanted to remind you of the picture that Tay posted after the rumors started in May last year where he's tied with strings. He really wants to speak, but he can't. Just don't trust the media.